Uh, hello guys. Uh, the circuit in front of me is a uh, really simple capacitor meter. So uh, let's show you how it works. And it's very simple. So I'm gonna use to power the power bank I've talked earlier. It's a good demonstration for the power bank. You could check that in one of my videos. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it on. And as you can see, the LCD just goes on. And there you see, it says 562 microfarads. Now, the capacitor under the chest is that one right there. So, but it's kind of not precise when it comes to big uh, capacitors. capacitors. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna remove this one. Now this one is actually a 470, 470 microfarads. Now it's pretty close. It could be true, but we don't have a real way to check. We need some kind of uh, sophisticated capacitance meter or ESR uh, meter or something like that. Uh, so I'm gonna try this other one. Well, small values they get pretty accurate measurements. So this one is a 104. Nah, focus is not great on this camera. Sorry about that, but anyways, you'll see right now. It says 104 on the cap. You gotta take my word for that. So I'm gonna insert it right here, and as you will see, it says 102. 102 nanofarads, so that's uh, very close. Yeah, so this capacitor meter you can check the. I uh, found the. I mean, the circuits and all the code and stuff on this guy's blog. The blog is called uh, Electro Noobs, I believe. So you can check it out and build your own if you have a good way to measure or a good multimeter or capacitance meter to verify that the values displayed on here are accurate that's gonna be great but in my case I'm trying to build one because I don't have one so that's the deal for me uh, I don't wanna buy some kinda expensive equipment since I don't have a lot of money to do so so uh, I try to build my own tools. So that's what is this? Uh, that's a try to build one of the tools. I've also got another LC meter uh, based on pick. Uh, that's this one. The LCD is kind of. I removed the LCD to use it with this one. So, uh, yeah, this one kind of failed, even though I did a lot of effort on this one, building uh, the schematic and the PCB and etching it manually, and soldering all the components and all that stuff. But it kind of failed, it doesn't give me real good measurements. So, uh, till I figure the problem, I'm gonna talk about this one as well. So that's pretty much it, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.